Do you want to hear some crazy stories about Slam Light? Then follow us in our journey towards the epic night that is Slam Light's birthday. Beach Zombie ready. Okay, so now I'm here with lovely Archie or Archibald. Which do you prefer? Uh, let's go for Archie. For Archibald for sounds like being. he's got a fucking hair problem going on, but never mind. It does not. I can tell you that not right here. No hair problem right there. So, my lovely Archie, who are you and what the hell do you do? Well, my name's Archie. I work in a primary school. I look after children who have particular difficulties with uh, behavior, emotions, and basically every single problem that everyone in this club has. So basically me as a child then? Exactly. Excellent. Excellent. So, my Archie, how long have you been coming here for? I think it's about... Ooh, possibly three and a half years now, I think. Oh, can you remember your first night here? My first night here? I was brought here by my boyfriend, Nath. He's still alive, he's just upstairs. <laughs> um, I was wearing a long green coat and a military cap. I met this marvellous woman from Lithuania. She was my Lithuanian princess. I was her English pirate. Oh. It was a marvellous evening. A marvellous epic meeting of minds. It was, it was, it truly. Was. So, what is your most memorable slime night moment? I think most memorable slime light moment would have to be uh, when, well, one evening we were here, we were having a normal evening at slime light and this, this man appeared wearing uh, sweatpants, you know, a t-shirt, sweat top, uh, trainers and he was quite loud, he was quite drunk and uh, me and my friends and the group I was with, we decided to just ignore him. And then, uh, I don't know, about half an hour later, we saw him being led out by the neck, pin to grip, like that. And we thought, thank goodness, that's the last we'll see of him. And then about half an hour later, we saw him back in Slime Night again. And we thought, you know, what brings him back in here? And we just happened to overhear what he was shouting at the pe everyone around him. And we heard, Ozzy, Ozzy, the uh, ex head bouncer of Slime Light. Yeah, Ozzy uh, dragged me out by my neck and uh, he put me in the street and, and he made me do 20 press ups with his foot on my back before I could come back in. <laughs> and to be honest, he did do 20 press ups with Ozzy's foot on his back, so Merit's I can res he earned his way back in and I can respect that. When a man's got his metal, the man's got his metal. So, my lovely Archie, zombie towards the camera with me? Absolutely. After three? Three, two, two one. one. Yeah. Okay, so we're in another very popular area of Slime Light, the smoking area, and I am here with... Nath. Nath. So, my darling, how long have you been coming to Slime Light for? Uh, four, five years now, yeah, four, five years. Can you remember your first ever Slime Light? I can, yeah. What was it? Uh, it was a fairly quiet night. I wore a lot of neon. Uh, I met some of the people I'm still hanging out with these today. Uh, and uh, I, it was an amazing night, yeah. yeah. You seem to have someone over here who's quite shocked that we're filming. Yeah. <laughs> Hanover. Hanover. Yeah. Do we have permission to film? Yes, we do. We have all the permission to film. We actually asked to do this shit tonight. So, um, what is your most memorable slime light moment? Can it involve things that are illegal? No. Okay, right. Um, uh, my most memorable moment of slime light. Um, I think it would probably be Charles falling down the stairs, uh, breaking his hand, 
and me forcing Jean to force Charles to go to the hospital in the morning. Well, did you hear about the time that Charles fell down the escalator, Angel? And um, then got up and tried to punch the escalator? Yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah. That one. Yep. I think that would we be... We love our Charlie. We'll be interviewing him a bit later on, but we love our Charlie, but he's a bit haphazard like me. Yep. And, uh, uh, no, actually, okay, got it. My favourite moment of Slimes was the time I walked out here uh, projectile vomited on this wall exactly a, uh, a security guy came up to me and went mate you're all right i said i'm all right and he went go inside clean yourself up if you don't if you do that again you're getting out you're getting kicked out tonight i went fair enough and this is how much we care about each other yeah so thank you very much for your time one last thing can you zombie towards the camera with me Okay, so I am here with Arcus, another long-term Slimelight regular. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, darling? Well, I pretty much am a crazy character. I come out, I get drunk, make some bad decisions, and everyone gets in on camera. Yeah. Excellent. So how long have you been coming down to Slimes for, then? I've been coming 13 years. Unlucky oh for some. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll be coming for at least another 14 to get rid of the unlucky number. Oh, yes. So, Definitely. what is your fondest slime light memory? My fondest slime light memory was of five years ago when I turned up after an incredibly stressful day at work, came here, drank for a solid nine hours, and then partied for another two weeks. That oh was my fondest memory. It went over two weeks. Excellent, excellent. And lastly, zombie towards the camera. Okay, so I'm here with the really tall Kyle. Um, Kyle, how long have you been coming to Slimely? Ooh. 12 years this year. 12 years. One year shorter than Arcus over there. Um, so, what is your memorable Slimely moment? Ooh. It's going to have to be probably one of the New Year's. Definitely good. Can't remember it, so it must have been good. <laughs> and can you remember your first slime light? Long, stayed till the end. I was very young. Very young. <laughs> and now you've been corrupted. Oh, I don't know if I would go that far. Oh boy. A bit of character assassination there. <laughs> now, zombie to the camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with Marissa and Jake at Slime Light London. So guys, um, how long have you been coming to Slimes for? Long about three years. three years. Yeah, I've been coming off and on for probably almost ten years now. Ten years. Yeah. Wow. So, um, what's your most memorable slime light moment? There's too many, to be honest. Uh, it, I, I don't. There's a lot of lost count. Yeah. Lost count. Can you remember your first slime light? Uh, I think I was paralytic. So oh really? <laughs> probably not. I think. I yeah. do. I kind of. I didn't know anyone. I was very shy. So. <laughs> But obviously, you've got a bit more confidence since yes, then. Yes, yes. Uh, things have changed dramatically since, since then. Okay, so. so what do you do then? Do, as in uh, job wise. Job -wise. Finance. Work and accounts. Finance and accounts. And yeah. <laughs> I'm a gardener. You're a gardener. Tearing I'm down the woes of the gardener. gardener. Ah, so you can transfer the gardening into the kitchen if you make your own vegetables. Oh, yes, wonderful. Yeah, exactly. Do, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'm doing anyway soon. So. Wonderful. <laughs> and lastly, zombie to the camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with DJ Joe the Waiter, who has been a long time slime light DJ. So, how long have you been doing this for? About five or six years. Five or six years, cool. And what keeps you going when you're DJing for people? It's just fun. Uh, it's, it's great to come down and just play for people and uh, and hopefully at the end of it you've made somebody's night. Okay, so what's your funniest slime light memory? PC. Uh, well, probably being asked for something that is so totally the wrong thing for this club. Like? Uh, Lady Gaga. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. So what keeps you coming back here? Um, it's, it's almost like a second home. I know probably it's a real cliche, and lots of people say that, but it really does feel like a second home. When you end up knowing so many people, and you, you come along, and even you come along on your own, and there's always, there's always people to hang out with, you know, and even if I'm not DJing, there's always people to just hang out with. But from a DJ point of view, it's great because I get to 
mix it up, you know, do things I generally don't do, um, you know, from other clubs I used to DJ for, and, and I get a bit of free reign here, which is nice. It's just, you know, the the, the reins aren't strapped down. You know, I've played a chance to be yourself. Yeah, when I play the Gotham Way floor, it's you know, it's not going to be lots of shoegazing, and it's it's not only going to be that sort of thing. You know, of course, I play lots of old goth um, because I love it myself. But I like to get in, you know, chuck in some 80s, some post-punk. Um, and of lately, people have been asking for more and more sort of industrial and metal. So it really does mix up the night. You know? So the you're not playing the same thing at the beginning as you are at the end. So that's great. Well, thank you very much for your time. And we'll catch you around and film you a bit later on. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so we're in another popular place in Slimelight. Yet another toilet. Yep. Can you imagine that? And I'm here with the wonderful Charles. How are you doing, my darling? Not bad at all. You enjoying the night? I always do at Slimes. You so, wouldn't come back for like 23 years if you didn't. So that answers my question, how long have you been coming here for? 23 years. Can you, however, remember your first slime light? I was very, very drunk before I even got to the door. Everything else was a blur. But I do vaguely remember falling down the stairs twice. And can you... Um, and I got late. <laughs> you got late, excellent. Can you um, tell us your most memorable slime light moment? Hmm. Memorable? You know, that's a tricky trouble. one. That's a tricky one. Oh. Funniest, memorable. Which one stands out the most? When we had to get UV paint to draw a giant penis on the back of my head to stop Ed from licking it. And why was Ed licking the back of your head? When I get very, very drunk, I sweat rum. And Ed would walk around and lick my head because I sweat rum. Um, we then had to put him off licking the rum off of my head by drawing a giant UV penis. Because <laughs> apparently UV paint tastes horrible. Um, and rum does not. Oh no, rum always tastes glorious. Come on. <laughs> Even rum if it's been through my system. <laughs> so Charlie, one last thing. Can you zombie towards the camera with me? I did the walk last week. Three, two, one. China. And that's all. Subscribe if you liked it. <laughs>